But allow to let me air down and I'll do you the same. Let your air down. Put the little shampoo and conditioners from the hotel. Stick them in your bag. Fucking take them. <laughs> oh? The Bonnie de Douche. Stick it in. Come on. <laughs> I like to be flamboyant on all the ditch. Do you know Even when I'm getting my money out from the Bureau de Change. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I like to do it in the style of David Dickinson from Real Deal. There's a five, there's a ten, there's a fifteen. <laughs> I like to do it. See, my other half, he's not as camp as me. I use as camp as me, no one is, doesn't <laughs> I'm so jealous of him, you know, he's just the right mix. He's masculine, but he's got a feminine side. Do you know what I mean? He'll enjoy a dog fight, but can appreciate a room spray. <laughs> 15 years it took me to find love. Can you believe it? 15 years and I finally found love, isn't that amazing? Who said ah? Oh. Was it you? Ah. Oh. Thank you for giving me. <laughs> Thank you for saying ah. Oh. <laughs> I only do stand up because it's at night time. <laughs> My friend said to me, how come you found love? I said, do you know what? You've got to get out and about, haven't you, Amma Smith? Too many people sitting at home, Tinder, Grinder, all that lot, do you know what I'm saying? They are. And these websites, they're too niche. They're too niche. You go on, they've got Christian dating, farmer dating, Jewish dating. They have. Sugardaddy.com. Look at her eyes. Right right <laughs> My favourite one is uniformdating.com. Come on. <laughs> Who's been on uniform dating? Stick your hand up. Fuck. How shallow do you have to be the one who have sex with someone because they wear a tabard? <laughs> it's bad enough rolling over in the morning, finding yourself next to a munt or about seeing a lollipop man stick at the end of your bed. <laughs> How romantic's that you had me at Stop Children? <laughs> but finding love, though, goes through phases, doesn't it? Things come popular, some things don't. People look to celebrities sometimes, how they find love. You remember Davina McCall found that lovely husband of hers, didn't she? Walking a dog, didn't she? And all of a sudden, all my friends were like, get a dog, let's get a dog. We'll get a nice husband. Get a dog! <laughs> Even if we steal a dog, just get a dog. <laughs> now, do we have any dog owners in? <laughs> dog walking is the most unromantic thing in the world, isn't it? <laughs> Half the time you've got a bag of dog shit because you can't find a bin, am I right? <laughs> That's the turn on, isn't it? Come and get it, boys. I've got two Irish setters, two red setters. Oh, best dogs in the world, Irish setters. Don't they get you up early, though, dogs? 6.30 in the morning, I've got a ginger paw hitting me in the face. <laughs> Please don't be Mick Hucknall. <laughs> it comes with me cat flap, he's like a fox, am I? <laughs> 6.30 in the morning, who am I going to meet at 6.30 in the morning? I'm walking around some waste ground. It's just me and a man dumping a body. Morning. <laughs> and don't you look a state when you take the dogs out, don't you? Tracky B, saggy round the crutch, and it. <laughs> good holes in it. I don't even put my glasses on, I don't. I don't. The other day I was caught feeding a child in a horse onesie a carrot. <laughs> I'm not stupid. <laughs> Five stars, four fingers. Uh, 